Hello everyone, we are going to learn how to make an easy mask extender today. If you look in front of you, there are the tools that we require. Um, yarn, 20 grams each. I have chosen two different colors, beige for the extender and pink for the yarn button if required. If you do not want to go for the yarn button option, uh, we can put the pink away and we can make use of buttons. Buttons will require two pieces of 20 millimeter or 2 cm um, in diameter each uh, in any color. I have chosen uh, black in this case. Scissors, tapestry needle to sew the buttons later, and size for crochet hook. Shall we start? Let's pick up the crochet needle. This is the tulip brand in Japanese size 4 is a good size for this yarn now we begin with making a loop into a chain and let's start with 31 stitches of chain for the length one stitches if you place it on the table it is roughly about 13 centimeters if you measure it from end to end without stretching the yarn it's about 13 centimeters right we don't have to worry about the two additional um, centimeters because when you finish six rows of single stitch you will derive at 15 cm which is the length that we will require for the extender to be comfortable um, once it is hooked um, behind our mask Alright Now let's continue We will start With a chain Once you reach 30, this is the turning corner, using the same loop, let's do it again, the same loop, you add two more stitches, so stitch 31, stitch 32, so you have already turned the corner, let's start with row 2.
So with the same loop over here, you make three additional stitches to turn the corner. So 30, 31 to the same hole, 32 in the same hole. So you have completed row two. Let's go to row three. roughly about 10 cm for the button sewing and we snip it off here so this is a completed piece of the mask extender if you measure it we have actually come to about 14 cm but have no fear because that is Dependent on your tension when you crochet and with use it will also stretch a little bit so it will come up to about 15 cm eventually and the width wise is about 3 cm Notice there are loose strings on each end this is for sewing of the buttons or if you have yarn buttons then 
you can actually end this off and hide the button the sorry the string in all right let's assume that we are looking at swing the buttons so this is where we will place them eventually okay grab your tapestry needle let's put away the um, crochet needle yep. we will start with this so this is already in position in the center but this is the wrong side of the uh, mask extender we need to sew the buttons on the right side so not to worry let's uh, thread this through first okay we will start by pushing the yarn through to the right side okay grab one button and you can sew it into position like so okay make sure it's towards the end here and doesn't just up just nice right sew it down to secure the button okay you can actually sew an X but I like to keep it simple so double threading should be more than enough and I will end off by knotting just grab one fiber as you can see push through and make a knot okay once you secure it you can hide the stitches by picking up alternate fibers like so and push your needle through do it backwards this is to secure so that the yarn doesn't come unravel after a few uses okay let's grab probably about three fibers and one more round backwards couple fibers as well there you go okay snip it off the end and that hides right this is one side and now let's go to this side it's a little bit tricky because the thread ends at the corner let's uh, thread this through again now go to the back or the wrong side and try and grab two to three fibers together thread through okay this is to hide and make sure this is rounded it's to hide okay and back stitch pick up one of the fiber in the center and back stitch to secure okay now it's secured you can push the needle through to the center to the right side like so so same thing secure the button Uniform, both sides the same. Go through one more time, like so. Down to the wrong side again. So, one more 
time backwards. Is completed. 